There were once two men. Nori and I were the... I did the meals. I never found out what you did. Well, one of us was Harpo and the other was Groucho, and we <laughs> never figured that out either. They're like a couple of Jewish uncles, sort of, here, you know, imaginary Jewish uncles. They're physically opposite. They're temperamentally... There were probably one person at one point, and then eons ago they were split into two people, and that's why they finally got together. In New York City, in Brooklyn Heights, in a little brownstone where one lived upstairs and one lived down. And they were not established at all. Total, total unknown. Norton and I began as fellow tenants on State Street. Norton did the cooking, and we roamed back and forth between the two floors, and that's when Norton wrote the Phantom Tollbooth. There was once a boy named Milo who didn't know what to do with himself. Not just sometimes, but always. When he was in school, he longed to be out, and when he was out, he longed to be in. I think creative people, whether they're musicians or painters or writers, whatever, write, paint, write music primarily for themselves. That's true of Norton, too. You know, he is so interested in words and word plays. That's his, his nature. He had to put this down. Then when he started writing it, chapter one, Milo. He was never very good at keeping things to himself, so he'd have to read me <laughs> the last four lines he wrote. Somewhere along that line, I started sketching. And I would design characters and play around with them. Jules and I you know, did another book a year or so ago. And we realized it was such fun working together. And Jules suggested this, that we make a little pact. And we, we, we are prepared now to do a new book every 50 years. <laughs> yeah, that's really playing with words, I have to say.